cyanuric acid. I touched on this a little bit in the chlorine section. Cyanuric acid is also referred to as stabilizer in the pool industry or conditioner sometimes. Essentially, what it does is it acts as sunscreen for your chlorine, protecting your chlorine molecules from the UV rays of the sun. If you don't have enough cyanuric acid in your water, the sunlight would break down your chlorine before it could do its job to sanitize your water. Ideally, you want to keep your cyanuric acid in between 30 and 50 parts per million. This is where chlorine functions best. Cyanuric acid, when it goes above 50, starts to have a detrimental effect on chlorine's ability to sanitize. And when cyanuric acid goes above 90 parts per million, chlorine is typically considered ineffective at sanitizing your water. What does that mean? It means that your chlorine will no longer be able to kill microorganisms or suppress algae. In fact, in some states, it is illegal to have your cyanuric acid go above 100 parts per million. Where does cyanuric acid come from? You can either add it in bulk as pure cyanuric acid, or it comes from your chlorine tablets. This is why it's important not to overuse chlorine tablets. If you use too many chlorine tablets, you will most definitely see a high level of cyanuric acid. And the only way to correct higher levels of cyanuric acid is to drain your pool. You should test for cyanuric acid once a month. Let's check out this video on using a Taylor K2005 test kit, the test kit that Riverbend recommends you use regularly to test for cyanuric acid. Okay, so the last thing that we can test for with the Taylor K2005 is cyanuric acid. To test for cyanuric acid is a little bit different than all the other tests that we've done because we need to mix a solution together. So, what we're going to do is take the dropper bottle provided inside of the test kit. If you look at the front of it, you'll notice that there's two notches, 7 and 14. To make this proper solution, we need to fill the dropper bottle with pool water to the 7 mark. Then, we need to take the R0013 cyanuric acid reagent and fill that dropper bottle up to the 14 mark. You have two bottles of 0013 inside of the test kit and that should give you about six to seven tests. Cyanuric acid only needs to be tested once a month during the spring and the fall and probably about twice a month in the summertime. So, these bottles should last you quite a while, even though it seems like it won't go so far because you have to use so much of it every test. Okay, now that we have the proper amount of chemical inside of the dropper bottle, Replace the cap and shake it up for about 20 to 30 seconds. Let it settle for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now, take the comparator and look down the very top of the smaller compartment. At the bottom of the smaller compartment, you will see a black dot. To get our cyanuric acid reading, we need to take the dropper bottle, flip the top, and then while we stare at the black dot at the bottom of the comparator, slowly add in the solution that you made until the black dot completely disappears. Once you've made the black dot completely disappear, and when I mean completely gone, I mean you cannot see it at all. You cannot even convince yourself that you can see the black dot. Once you've gotten to that point, take the comparator, Look on the front side, on the side of the smaller compartment, there's a thing that says CYA. Wherever the liquid stops next to that number under CYA, that's your cyanuric acid reading. Hopefully it's between 30 and 50. 30 and 50 is the ideal cyanuric acid range. It's where your chlorine functions as well as it can while being protected from the sun's UV rays. When cyanuric acid begins to go above 50 into the 60s and 70s, your chlorine's ability to sanitize begins to diminish. Once cyanuric acid reaches a level of 90 or higher, your chlorine is considered completely ineffective at sanitizing, thus making your pool a health hazard. So, if you test above 90 parts per million cyanuric acid in your pool water, you need to drain about 30 to 50 percent and refill. This will dilute the cyanuric acid back into proper range. So, cyanuric acid, it needs to be kept between 30 and 50 parts per million. You control it 
by not using too many chlorine tablets. The life cycle of cyanuric acid should look something like this. At the beginning of the season, you want to have your cyanuric acid right around 30 to 35 parts per million. By doing things the right way and only adding tabs once per week and using as few tabs as you possibly can, by the end of the season, your cyanuric acid should be somewhere right around 50 to 60 parts per million. Then, once our water drops below 55 degrees, we can discontinue using tablets and rely on powdered chlorine for our chlorine needs. By doing this, you allow that time in between mid-November to mid-March for your pool to evaporate and be refilled and also for rainwater to help dilute down cyanuric acid. Again, there is no chemical correction for cyanuric acid, so if it goes above 100, you're looking at draining anywhere between 50 to 70% of your pool to get it back into level. This is expensive and it also will mess up the rest of the chemical balance of your pool. So let's do what we need to do by utilizing enzymes, by utilizing mineral systems, by utilizing alternatives to chlorine to reduce our chlorine tablet needs so we can keep our cyanuric acid in check. This concludes the section on cyanuric acid. To continue with chemistry school, please see the video on phosphates. Thank you for choosing RiverbendPoolSupply.com for all your pool needs.